Welcome to Kids Cove News. We are so excited that you are here with us today on iCampus Kids. We have some amazing friends celebrating their birthdays this week. Happy birthday to Llewellyn and Noah. Happy birthday, Catherine and Claire. And happy birthday to Emilise. And happy birthday to Andy. Happy birthday, friends. Be sure, boys and girls, to save the date for Invite a Guest Sunday on October the 1st. We all want to be praying for a friend that we can bring to Sunday school with us that day. So bring a picture of who you will bring and let's hang their picture up on the bulletin board in your classroom. That way we can all be praying for them the entire month of September. This is your My One. You know, our new scripture memory books have begun and our scripture memory store is open. Be sure you are working to memorize your verses in Sunday school and ask your teacher for your scripture memory book. We have a special friend sending a joke for us to tell. Are you ready? Ready. Why is Cinderella afraid to play soccer? Soccer. Afraid to play soccer? I don't know why. <laughs> I know. <laughs> because she is always running away from the ball. Oh, oh, I get, get, get it. it. I get, I get it. it. That's, That's, a cute That's, funny. Funny. That's so funny. That's so funny. Don't forget, if you want your joke to be told on Kids Cup News, send them in. Now that we are almost done, I am going to drink some nice cold lemonade because Ooh. today is lemonade day. Oh, I will take some, please. Yes. I would love so some lemonade. Happy National Lemonade Day. You Perfect. should have some today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. so refreshing. I yes. love lemonade. Yes, but, ooh, and it's nice and cold. It is the best kind. Mm. Ooh, that, that is a is good so lemonade. Good. That is mm. good lemonade. All right. Mm. You enjoy some at home today, too. That's, That's a wrap, wrap for Kids Code, Code News. News. See, See you next week. week. Hey, I Campus Kids. Today is a great day for us to have a praise party to celebrate the greatness of God. Come on, get up on your feet. Let's sing together, all right? The Lord is my strength and my shield and I
Nicely done. Hello, friends. Welcome to iCampus Kids. I'm Miss JJ, your Bible teacher, and I'm so glad you've joined me today. The Bible is God's word. God helps me write it so we can know for sure that everything in it is completely true. We've been reading about how God sent Jesus to save us. Jesus lived a perfect life. He forgave sins. He controlled nature. He healed people. He taught people about God and the kingdom of God. Today, we're going to read more about what really happened during Jesus' life. I have two pictures that represent a couple of the things Jesus taught. See if you can guess what Jesus said about the things in the pictures. What is this first picture? This is a picture of a door. What is special about this door? It is narrow. Narrow is the opposite of wide. This door is skinnier than a normal door. What do you think Jesus said about a narrow door? Hmm. Here is the second picture. What is it? This hen looks big and it looks like it has a bunch of legs. Why do you think it looks like that? This hen has its baby chick snuggled close to it under its wings. How do you think this connects to something Jesus taught? Let's read and find out. I'm going to read from the book of Luke. Luke is the third book in the New Testament and is a book of the Gospels. The Gospels record the good news of Jesus' life on earth as a man. Luke records true things that really happened with real people. While I read my own paraphrase of some of Luke 13, verses 22 through 35, listen for what Jesus said about a narrow door and a hen with chicks. Think about how the pictures connect with the passage. Then Jesus went through the towns and villages, teaching the people. He was on his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, are only a few people going to be saved? Jesus said to them, Do everything you can to enter through the narrow door. I tell you, Many will try to enter and will not be able to. The owner of the house will get up and shut the door. Then you will stand outside knocking and begging. You will say, sir, let us in. But he will answer you, I don't know where you come from. Then you will begin to say, we ate and drank with you. You taught in our streets. But he will reply, go away from me, all you who do evil. You will weep and grind your teeth together when you see those who are in God's kingdom. You will see Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and all the prophets, yet you yourselves will be thrown out. Then people will come from east and west and from north and south. They will take their places at the banquet table in the kingdom of God. At that time, some Pharisees came to Jesus. They said, get away from here. Herod wants to kill you. But he said, go and tell that fox, Herod. Look, I'm casting out demons and performing healings today and tomorrow. On the third day, I will complete my work. Even so, I must go on my way today and tomorrow and the next day. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you kill the prophets and stone God's messengers. Many times I have wanted to gather your people together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you would not let me. And I tell you, you will not see me again until the time comes when you say, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. He taught the people as he went. Did you hear how the pictures connected with what Jesus taught? I'll draw all my own versions of the pictures while we think through how they connect with Jesus' teachings. How did the first picture connect with what Jesus taught? The first picture was a narrow door. Jesus taught that not everyone will be saved. We are all sinners who deserve to be separated from God forever. But God sent Jesus to save us from our sins and make us right with him. The only way to be saved is by grace through faith in Jesus. Some people might think they will be saved, but they are not. When Jesus was on the earth, people might have thought they were saved because they had shared a meal with Jesus or had heard him teach. A similar situation today might be if people think they're saved because they go to church, but that is not the way to be saved. Hearing about Jesus doesn't save you. Going to church doesn't save you. Even the people who spent time with Jesus when he was on the earth weren't saved just because they were with him. There is only one way to be saved, and that is by grace through faith in Jesus. We can't do anything to earn it. It is a gift from God. The way to be saved is a narrow door because there is only one way to be saved, and not everyone will believe in Jesus. What about the second picture? It was a hen covering her chicks. Some religious leaders called Pharisees told Jesus to leave. Jesus said he had work to do, and then he spoke about Jerusalem. 
he was really talking about the people of Jerusalem, the Jews. He said he wanted to gather the people together like a hen gathers her chicks under her wings. He loved the people. He wanted to care for them and protect them, but they wouldn't let him. As a group, they rejected him. Jesus taught the people as he traveled to Jerusalem. When we see a narrow door, it can remind us that not everyone will be saved. Only those who have a personal relationship with Jesus by grace through faith in him will be saved. We need to trust in Jesus and we need to tell others how to be saved. When we see a hen or chicks, we can think about how much God loves the Jewish people. Jesus came to save them, but he knew that most of them would reject him. They wouldn't believe in him. Jesus loves everyone and wants everyone to be saved, but not everyone will trust in Jesus. Everyone is invited into the kingdom of God, but not everyone will enter. People are saved only by trusting in Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. Now it's time for the Wheel of Wonder, the time in our lesson when we spin the wheel and wonder. What will our Wheel of Wonder question be today? It landed on green. Our Wheel of Wonder question for today is, what did Jesus mean when he said the people would say, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord? Have you ever heard that sentence before? The Jewish people there that day would have been familiar with it because it is part of Psalm 118, a psalm that was occasionally sung as part of celebrations. This verse was a blessing for those who came to the Lord in his name. Jesus was letting the people know what was going to happen in the future. He was telling them that one day he would go to Jerusalem and people would say that about him. This did happen when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a baby donkey a few days before he died on the cross. As Jesus rode into Jerusalem, people said, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Jesus knew what was going to happen. He knew people were going to reject him. He knew people were going to say a blessing when he came to Jerusalem on a baby donkey. He knew he was going to die for our sins. He knew he was going to rise from the dead. He knew he was going to go to heaven until the time was perfect for him to come back. He will come back again one day. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The entrance to heaven is a narrow door. There is only one way to be saved. Jesus died to pay for your sins, but you must decide for yourself if you will trust in him or not. Like the Jewish people, he loves you and wants to have a personal relationship with you. Will you accept his free gift of salvation or will you reject him? Let's pray. Holy Father, thank you for loving us and making the way for us to be saved. Please give us the grace to have faith in Jesus. Please give us the courage to tell others about Jesus so they can be saved too. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Well, sweet friends, I love studying God's word with you today. There's so much more for us to learn. Be sure to come back next time to watch I Can't This Kids. I'm Disco Pete, and I love to move my feet. And if you want to have some fun, say, Groove! All right, well, I love to move my disco feet to the groove and beat. And today, we learned that Jesus knew he would be rejected. He did everything for us, and he still knew he would be rejected by the crowds. Well, since I'm Disco Pete, and I love the groovy beat, I have a groovy game that I want to play with everybody today, and it's called Zoom In. Now, I'm going to show you a picture that you won't be able to tell what it is because I've zoomed in on the whole item. Now, I'll give you a clue and you can take a guess for what you think it is. Now, after I let you guess, we're all going to say zoom in and show another picture of the item. Now, this time, it will be a little clearer. Now, after we all guess, we're going to all say zoom in so that we can see another picture of the item and it's going to be clearer. Now, after we take that last guess, we're all going to say zoom in for the final time and we will see what the item is. Now, remember, we're all trying to guess what the item is as soon as we can. So if you're ready to play zoom in, say Okay, good job. Here's your first picture. Ooh. Now, this helps you to get where you need to go. Do you think you know what it is? 
Take a guess. Okay, you got your guess? Good job, okay. Now the only way we can see if you're right is we gotta say zoom in. So it's time for your next picture. So everybody say zoom in. Okay, good job. All right, remember, this helps you to get where you need to go. And here's your next clue. You have to help to make it work. Hmm, what is that? Okay, do you think you know what it is? Okay, let's say zoom in. Zoom in. All right, here's the next picture. Okay, oh, that's a little bit better. Now, remember, this helps you to get where you need to go, and you have to help to make this work. And your final clue is, this will fill something up. What do you think it is? All right, after you're ready to make your final groovy guess, go ahead, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna count to three to see what it is. All right, one, two, three. Zoom in. All right, everybody. Oh, there it is, it's a gas pump. Good job. Yeah, that puts gasoline in whatever you need to use, mainly your car. Great job. Okay, if you wanna play one more zoom in, say, groove it, groove it. One more time, groove it. All right, here's your first picture. Ooh, all right, here's your clue. This will help you play better. Hmm, what do you think it is? Okay, make a guess. Okay, let's all say zoom in. Zoom in. Okay, now, remember your first clue was this will help you to play better. And here's another clue, all right? This is usually played with outside. Hmm, what's your groovy answer? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. It's time for your next picture, so let's all say it. Zoom in. Okay, so this will help you play better. Another clue was it's usually played with outside. And your final clue is this will help you on the court. Ooh, what do you think it is, groovy people? Are you ready to make your final groovy guess? Go ahead and make it. Okay, on the count of three, we're gonna all say zoom in and we will see what it is. One, two, three. Zoom in. Oh, look at that, it's a tennis racket. Did you guess it? Great job, great job, everybody. I'm gonna go play some tennis right now. That's groovy. All right, I'll play it like this. Okay, I'm Disco Beat, and I love to move my feet. And if you wanna have some fun, say groove, say groove. All right, well, I love to move my disco feet to the groovy beat, and I'll see you groovy friends later. All right, everybody, groove, groove, groove. Hey boys and girls, it is so good to see you again today on iCampus Kids. We hope you've had a great time listening to Miss JJ, hanging out with Disco Pete, and singing with Yancey. Today in our lesson, Jesus teaches that not everyone will choose to believe in him. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by him. Jesus saves us from our sin, and all we have to do is ask. That's right. Today, we are going to play a game, true, true, or false. false. We have our signs and we're ready to play. We are, okay. True or false, are you ready? I'm ready. Camels have three sets of eyelids. Do you think that is true or false? Actually, I remember this because I thought it was so interesting. It is true. Oh, I don't know, but I'm gonna go with true. Yes. I think it is. It is true. It You're is. right. It You're is. You're right. Okay. True or false? True or false, a molecule is the smallest unit of matter. Molecules are pretty small. I'm gonna they go are. with true. But I think they're not the smallest. False. What do you think the smallest is? That's a good question. Is it the atom? That's a good question. Y'all look that up and let us what know. What is smaller than a molecule? Ooh. Find out. Let us know. Okay. We want to hear from you. All okay. right. So, true or false? Crocodiles <laughs> shed tears when they eat. Okay, I think I've heard this before. And I think that's true. You do? I think that's true. I think I've heard that before. I'm going to say false. What do you think the answer is? I think it's true. It is true. <laughs> yeah, it you're is right. true. Okay, okay, true or false? All right. The largest bone in the body 
is the thigh bone. Yes, I know that. Yes. That is true. Okay, we'll go with true. Yes. I think you're right. That's why it, it hurts so true. bad if you break it. <laughs> Thankfully, I've not broken it. No. I hope neither. you haven't. That would hurt. That is true. You're exactly okay, right. Okay, here's another one. Rhinoceros horn is made up of hair. A true or false? Horn? Oh. I'm going to say because it sounds so crazy that it's true. Oh, see, I was going to say false because <laughs> it sounds so crazy. I think the answer is true. I think you're right. That yes. Is true. Yes. That is okay. so silly. Oh, okay. This is an easy one. Spiders have five legs. Oh, we know that. No. They absolutely don't. they do not. They have no. eight. They do. There you go. All right. Awesome job, guys. Thank you for playing with us today. See, See you next, next week on iCampus Kids. Kids. Wow, even though Jesus knew what would happen when he came to this earth and when he went to the cross, he did it anyway. And because of what he did on the cross, we have been given victory. Jesus has the victory. He's given you victory. I have victory in my life. And that is a reason that we have today to sing his praise. You know, it doesn't matter what it is that we face in life. The battle belongs to our God. So come on, let's sing this and let's worship together today. One name, one name holds everything. That silences the enemy One king who reigns for all eternity Jesus, Jesus We will lift our eyes We won't fear the fight There is one who's strong
it is to worship our Savior, our friend Jesus. Thanks for singing with me today.